Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Five VA hospitals are set to be removed from a list of 15 poorly performing facilities that are considered high risk, according to an assessment that is set to be released this week by the Department of Veterans Affairs, according to a report Tuesday. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 The Senate on Tuesday passed annual funding for the Pentagon, sending the legislation to the House and putting an on-time defense budget within reach. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 The State Department revealed that its unclassified email system was hit by a data breach, impacting fewer than 1% of employees' inboxes. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Sen. Susan Collins, our main, is pushing leaders of the Senate Judiciary Committee to let Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh and Christine Blasey Ford, who accused Kavanaugh of sexual assault, answer questions from each other's lawyers in next week's public hearing. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Around 3 in 10 families apprehended for illegally entering the United States from Mexico cut off their ankle monitoring devices shortly after being released from Immigration and Customs Enforcement custody and told to show up for asylum hearings, an ICE official said Tuesday. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Secretary of State Mike Pompeo expressed sorrow over the downing of a Russian military plane, saying the deaths of the 15-person crew underscore the danger of the Syria crisis. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Georgia will not be required to replace its paperless voting machines before the November midterm elections, a federal judge ruled Monday in a setback for election security advocates. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Using U.S. businesses as weapons is misguided economic policy. The Trump administration has shown that liberating business leads to growth. Countering this market dynamic by entangling U.S. business and poorly designed and overly broad trade and economic sanctions must be avoided whenever possible. However, since these debates almost always revolve around countries that we are at odds with, these fights can be contentious. Recently, that means Russia. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 President Trump on Tuesday touted his administration's efforts to respond to damage and flooding in coastal parts of North and South Carolina that have been devastated by Hurricane Florence, and warned that Democrats will try to tarnish their efforts. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Senate Democrats could stall a Supreme Court nominee President Trump potentially names as a replacement for Brett Kavanaugh until 2020 if they flip the chamber, according to Sen. Maisie Hirono, D. Hawaii Tuesday, September 18, 2018 President Trump's latest volley in a trade war with China will raise supply costs for AutoZone significantly, and the retailer plans to cope by charging higher prices, its chief executive officer said Tuesday. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Senate Democrats on Tuesday pressed Republicans to allow more witnesses to testify at next week's hearing with Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh in California Professor Christine Blasey Ford, who has accused the judge of sexual assault. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 A senior U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement official said Tuesday that making illegal immigrants wear ankle monitors when they arrive in the U.S. is a less effective and more costly way to eventually deport them when compared to simply detaining them. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell said on Tuesday that Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh welcomes this opportunity to respond to an accusation he attacked a teenage girl at a party while in high school. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 China's new list of $60 billion worth of tariffs on U.S. Goods includes liquefied natural gas, threatening a major setback for the Trump administration's ambition to flood the world with cheap natural gas as a key component of its energy dominance agenda. Tuesday, September 18, 2018 The Trump administration on Monday night withdrew a request asking the U.S. Supreme Court to block an order forcing it to release thousands of internal White House documents related to its military transgender policy.